Thank you for joining us for our webinar today, Reaching Your Goals with Google Analytics. The focus today is all about return on investment. We want to help get your Google Analytics account set up to get the most actionable data with an added emphasis on AdWords and marketing campaigns. Specifically, we want to walk through setting up goal conversions and e-commerce to start tracking your conversion data. Then we'll shift focus slightly to ensuring you're getting sufficient data from AdWords by linking your AdWords account to analytics. With marketing campaigns accounted for, we'll finish the webinar with exciting new opportunities using newly set up goal tracking. We've talked a lot about setting up different forms of conversion tracking. So now let's move on to ensuring your AdWords account is properly set up. In the introduction, we mentioned getting the most of AdWords in your marketing campaigns by linking AdWords to Google Analytics. We understand that not everyone here has an AdWords account, but don't worry, we'll get back to exciting new opportunities for everyone in the final section. So why should you link Google AdWords to Google Analytics? The reason you'd want to do this is to get advanced reports about your AdWords advertising campaigns. After you link your accounts, there will be a new section of reports that are made available to you. They offer better visibility, automatic campaign tracking, richer insight, AdWords cost data, and cross-campaign comparisons. These reports contain information about what you're spending on AdWords, your return on investment or ROI for AdWords, your revenue per click, and much more. Some of these metrics, such as ROI and revenue per click, are only available if you decide to enable e-commerce tracking or assign a value to your goal conversion page for those of you who don't have e-commerce sites. The bottom line is that linking analytics to AdWords gives you powerful information that can tell you where you should be spending more or less based on real ROI data. Let's walk through the linking process to ensure that everyone is set up to get the most out of AdWords reports in Google Analytics. The linking process itself is initiated from the AdWords interface. So our first step is to log into google.com slash AdWords as the account administrator. It's important to note that in order to link your AdWords account to your analytics account, you need to be an administrator on both AdWords and analytics. Once we're logged in, we click into the Tools and Analysis tab, and then on the Google Analytics link that appears underneath that tab. At this point, the linking process diverges into two paths. If you're still using the old interface for Google Analytics, you'll use the legacy flow. If you're using the new interface for Google Analytics, we'll have a much smoother linking flow. Given that the new interface of Google Analytics gives us the added option to link multiple AdWords accounts to one Google Analytics account, We'll walk through that flow now. In order to see this flow, please log into google.com slash analytics, click into new version, and ensure that the new version is set as default in the top right corner before trying to link. This brings us into the Google Analytics interface within AdWords. Here we see a list of all analytics accounts that we have access to under the email address that we're logged in with. Once on this page, Select the GA account that you would like to link AdWords to, and then click on the Data Sources tab. If we have any AdWords accounts linked to this analytics account, they will show up here. In order to link the new account, we only need to click the Link AdWords button. If you've ever tried linking AdWords and analytics before, you'll notice that we made a massive improvement. Originally, you could only link one AdWords account to one analytics account. It was a one-to-one -one linking ratio. Now, we've given you the opportunity to link as many AdWords accounts as you'd like to one Google Analytics account. Now we'll get into some of the finer details of what happens when you link your accounts and the proper way to set everything up. When linking, you're given the option of turning on auto-tagging, which automatically tracks all of the traffic coming from your AdWords account. This is a setting that can be turned on or off at any point. But in order to get detailed information about your visitors that came from AdWords, you'll need to have it turned on. One thing to note is that this setting is actually located within your AdWords account preferences, not your Analytics account settings. Essentially, what auto-tagging does is associate a parameter with a click on your ad, which then allows Analytics to report the details of the click, including which AdWords keywords brought a visitor to your site 
which campaign that keyword was from, and how much that click cost. It's important to note that using auto-tagging as opposed to manually appending your own tracking parameters will provide a much more robust set of AdWords dimensions. This information can then be associated with richer information within your analytics reports, such as goal or e-commerce conversions, to give you a sense of how your AdWords spending is really performing and how much revenue you're bringing in as a result of your AdWords campaigns. Once you've linked your AdWords account to your Google Analytics account, you'll start tracking visits, bounce rate, conversion rate, and revenue along with standard marketing metrics such as clicks, cost, impressions, and click-through rate. In order to view the report, we'll need to click into the Advertising section in the left-hand navigation menu, into AdWords, and then into any of the provided reports. You can start by viewing standard visit data for your campaigns, visits, pages per visit, time on site, percent new visits, bounce rate, or conversion rate. Or navigate to the Clicks tab to view visits, conversions, and revenue alongside clicks, cost, and click-through rate. All right, we've talked about the different ways to get your Google Analytics set up to track goals, e-commerce, and your marketing campaigns. Now let's finish up with all the new opportunities available to you in Google Analytics. Once you've set up goals, you'll have access to additional powerful capabilities in Google Analytics. As we've discussed, setting up goals will help you to ask the right questions. If you think carefully when creating goals, you are essentially predefining your analysis. In the past, you might have counted page views, but it can be hard to know whether an increase in page views really means that your business is succeeding. However, now that you've defined your goals, for example, by tracking the number of users who will fill out a lead form, it's easy to measure if your marketing programs are successful. You can dive into lots of detailed information about how and why some users filled out your lead form while other users did not complete the goal. In the next few slides, we'll discuss a few tools and methods that will help you to do this deeper analysis. With goals, you can calculate conversion rates, including measuring the quality of your traffic. You can use multi-channel funnels to see how different marketing touch points like search, display, and social work together to influence conversions. You can use goal flow visualization to see how users reach your goals or get hung up and fall off to identify what works and what doesn't work on your website. And you can import goals into AdWords, including engagement goals like time on site, and other interactions to help you optimize your bids. Once you have goals set up, you'll be able to calculate what percentage of your visitors actually convert. In other words, they do what you want them to do on your site. This will allow you to identify which sources or keywords are driving the strongest conversion rates in order to expand your digital efforts in the most cost-effective manner. In this example, goals helps you to understand which keyword is most effective. The dog leash keyword may seem more effective because it's driving more visits. But in fact, custom dog collars leads to more conversions and a higher sales value. By tracking goals, you will be able to see where you're getting the best return on investment. Let's take a look at one of our newest reporting tools, multi-channel funnels. Multi-channel funnels are one of my favorite reports in Google Analytics. You can find these reports in the same conversion report section click on the link right under e-commerce. Multi-channel funnel reports will start showing data automatically once you've set up your goals. Multi-channel funnels is a set of reports that allows you to see how different marketing touch points like search, display, and social work together to influence conversions. These reports provide data on how effective specific channels are at assisting other channels as conversions and how long it takes a user to convert. The great thing about multi-channel funnels is that it gives you visibility into your user's full conversion path, not just the last thing they clicked on before converting. As we mentioned earlier, please note that if you've just set up conversion goals for the first time, you'll need to wait until some data is collected in order to see meaningful information in the reports. Now, let's look at an improvement to funnels, the flow visualization. Flow visualization is a really exciting new tool in Google Analytics. Now that you've set up goals, you can use Goal Flow to see a graphical representation for how visitors flow through your goal steps and where they dropped off. 
This can be tremendously helpful in understanding problems in your site. For example, if you see that lots of users are failing to move from one page to the next, or not following the path that you expect, you can adjust your pages to increase the number of users who are completing goals. Earlier, we discussed goal funnels. The goal flow tool is similar, but more flexible, because it will allow you to see the path your users took, even if they didn't follow the funnel that you defined. You can find the goal flow visualizer in the conversions goal section of the standard reporting tab, right underneath the funnel visualization link. Finally, let's talk about importing goals to AdWords. It is possible to import your analytics goals into your AdWords account. This lets you track campaign ROI and optimize your account for conversions directly inside the AdWords interface. Importing goals is especially helpful if you haven't yet set up conversion tracking in your AdWords account. You'll be able to import goals from analytics by navigating to the conversions page in your AdWords account just under the tools and analysis tab. In order to import goals, you must do the following. First, AdWords and analytics accounts must be linked and cost data needs to be applied. Second, Allow data sharing with Google. You can find this setting by navigating to your analytics account settings and going into the edit account and data sharing settings. Third, enable auto tagging in your AdWords account. You can double check this by going into the account preferences within your AdWords account. Finally, have at least one AdWords goal completion in the last 30 days. Once you've imported goals into AdWords, you'll be able to optimize your AdWords program based on which keywords are most successful for your business goals. So we've covered a lot of material today, and we want to ensure that you have the right resources if you want to do more research or have lingering questions. You can find announcements and exciting product developments on our blog at analytics.blogspot.com. If you need basic support or have questions about how different features work, you can find it all in the Help Center. Finally, if you want to learn more about using the reports and doing data analysis, we'd recommend viewing our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash user slash Google Analytics. If you have a more complex website and would like additional professional support, we recommend contacting our Google Analytics certified partners or considering Google Analytics Premium. Google Analytics Certified Partners can provide advice on web analytics strategy, conduct an audit of your current setup, do full service implementation, as well as ongoing analysis and implementation assistance. You can find a list of our partners at google.com slash analytics slash partners. Google Analytics Premium is ideal for large enterprises with millions of hits per month. Premium provides high-level, round-the-clock support from Google employees data and service level guarantees, plus additional exciting analysis tools such as attribution modeling. You can learn more about Analytics Premium at google.com slash analytics slash premium. Thank you very much for your time. We really hope you found this webinar valuable, and we look forward to giving you more great information and reports in Google Analytics. I'm not a woman, 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 I'm not